वेलकम माई फ्रेंड्स टू येट अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ ट्रेल मेकर क्रिएशन बाय दैट टॉम गाय Today we're going to be taking a look at that's right quad walkers. Let's take it right from the beginning. I'm going to show you how I build it, the simple timing that I use for the hinges and the pistons, and uh, I'll let you guys take it from there. So again, we want to start with just a basic frame. This is just going to be a basic quad walker. You always want to start simple because it always gets more complicated than it needs to be. So start with a basic frame like this. So we'll we'll make it too wide, or too long, and too wide. So basically, slightly elongated square rectangle. So what we want to do is we want to start with the front legs. It's always going to be easier building a quad walker because it's going to balance itself if you have the timing right. And uh, okay, so I always use servos and hinges and sometimes pistons because pistons give you directional control. If you want it to move forward, you can use pistons to move it directly forward. Also good for lifting straight up rather than using a hinge or a uh, servo to rotate it up. So we'll start with some basic servos, flat servos. Pop it up here, rotate it, sucker around. Now you have to decide how you want it to move. Now these are going to rotate forwards. So if I want that to rotate forward and extend out, that means we're going to put some pistons on there, like that. I'm going to copy them suckers over the other side. Not to worry about setting the controls until I have the basic mechanisms in place. So once this lifts, this is going to extend out, and we're going to need a hinge here for like a knee. So let's just go with a double, we'll just invert this large hinge, stick it to the bottom. Uh, yeah, we can leave the green arrow facing that way, we'll copy that, bring it over to this side. So now we need the bottom half of the leg which we can just use a solid block. All right, so now if we just copy this one side, copy it out, bring it down the body, Copy it to this side. All right, so there we go. Now we got to remember to put a seat on here. So let's just put a basic seat. We want to keep the seat centered so that we have our weight distribution on the four legs, okay? So we'll build that in and have a look. So we've got F, of course, we haven't set any control, so I have, if I hit forward right now, or back, and we'll extend the pistons. <laughs> or if I hit left and right, watch this. Believe it or not, you actually almost get the walking motion, but well, obviously it's way too fast. Okay, so now we know that they're already spinning in the right direction, but we want them to spin in the direction we want it to spin in. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set this one here to rotate forwards. We have to move the leg forwards, which means it's going to rotate on the red arrow so we want red to be and I'm gonna make this automated just so it's easier I'm gonna set it to alpha 1 and to toggle now we have to decide in the timing area here how fast we want these legs to move so for it to rotate forward in a half a second it's gonna move pretty quick for a full second it's gonna to take too long so let's go with a 0 0.6 and we also want it to repeat after 0 0.6 Speed, we want it to be as slow as possible, which is 0 0.1. And a 45 degree angle might be a bit much, but it's pretty light right now, so I think it'll be able to handle the strain of that. So now we want to look at our numbers here and go 0 0.6, 0 0.6. So we can actually set all of our servos. Okay, 
need that. Select all our servos, configure, set them all to 0 0.6. Do the 0 0.6, repeat. Speed again, we want 0 0.1. Angle of 45, we're gonna keep. And we'll have to configure the controls, the button keybinds as we move along and uh, decide whether we want to move forwards or backwards. So this one here, we've already got set. We want to get rid of any other controls on there. So alpha one will rotate it on the red arrow, moving the leg forward. This one, we want to do the same thing, but to move it forward, we're gonna to have to go on the green arrow. So we set the green to alpha one, get rid of any other controls. And obviously here, we don't want them both moving at the same time. So we just set this to the same number as we have here, our delay as 0 0.6. Now we should actually be able to get in the seat, build, get in the seat, hit number one. We should see those two legs rotating forward just by themselves. Offset the same way. So now we can actually do the same thing to, see on this side here, this servo has no offset. So this servo, we want to have the delay, 0.6. Want it to be rotating forward, which is red, so we want to set that to alpha one toggle. The toggle is what will allow it to keep looping on this time scheme that we've set up. We want to get rid of any other controls. Now that one had the delay, so this one will have no delay. This one is going to be rotated forward on the green arrow. So we set that to toggle one, get rid of any other controls. And let's build that in and see what it does. So now we should have the same offset on the back legs as we do on the front legs. As you can see, it kind of wants to move forward a little. That's okay, we haven't set any other controls. So at this point, I would personally go down to the knees and start setting these joints. So we know we have a 45 degree rotation on the hip. We want to put a 45 degree rotation on the knee so that the foot stays flat to the ground. And we want it on the same timing so we can actually select all of our kneecaps here. Set the timing to 0 0.6. Set the repeat time to 0 0.6. Now again, here we want to set the speed to as slow as possible, which is 0 0.1. And we want to set our rotation angle to 45, which is the same as our servos. And again, we'll go around and set our feet to the angle that we want. So these, the road leg's going to rotate forward. We want the bottom part of the leg to rotate back, which is going to be the green. So we set the green to alpha one, toggle, get rid of the other controls. And now we look at the hip above it on this leg. This leg has no delay. So this knee, knee joint needs to have the delay to only start bending when the leg starts coming back. So we just set that to 0 0.6, same thing. Boom, that one has a delay. So now we know the leg across from it will have no delay, which is all fine and dandy. That one will bend backwards as well, which is the green. So we set that to alpha one, get rid of the other controls. 0 0.1 and 45 is the speed. This one here rotates on the red. Set that to alpha 1, toggle, get rid of the other controls. 0 0.1 and 45 is all good. Now we know this front leg here has no delay, which means the one behind it will have the delay, 0 0.6. This one over here will have no delay and it rotates back on the green. Set that to alpha one, toggle, get rid of the other controls. And let's build that in and have a look. Hit number one. And walks backwards. You know what I mean though, right? You understand? Yeah, you're catching it. Okay, hey, let's, hey. Let's go and walk off the edge. So this would be where our Okay, 
So maybe we'll want to set to see how it's moving backwards. I would check the the knees here. So this one has a delay. Let's check it with no delay. We'll set the delay on this leg. 0 0.6. And then let's check that walking motion again. So once they walk backwards, that's because the bottom corner of those is actually what's causing the friction and pulling it forward. We want it to actually be moving forward. Okay, so that didn't work with the front legs there, so we can... Uh, I can set the delay back. 0.6. No delay on that one. But what I want to try and do is change the point of friction on the ground. So I'm just going to put some suspension in the front of each foot. Because that's also another thing. There's no pads or anything in this game where you can actually get a lot, uh, high friction on the ground. Besides the wheels. The wheels will give you friction. But you don't want it to be rolling. So let's try that. See, I've changed the point of friction so that the suspension is actually what's grabbing the, the ground and uh, and pulling it forward. So as you can see, there we go, basic quad walker. So now if we wanted to add more intricacy with those pistons, the reasons why we have them there. So, okay, let's take a look at which leg goes forward first here. Okay, so this one, our right leg here goes forward. So now these we're going to set on the same timing, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, and we don't want any delay on that, because now those are going to start out, and we're going to have to have it pull in, oh, we'll try that, we'll have it pull in when it's lifting the leg, and then out when it's going to put its leg down, so we'll try that. Cha-cha-cha. Okay, we want to set these to auto reset so that they will cycle through these things once we set toggle. Again, this is to extend, this is to retract. So we want to retract these. We're going to set that to alpha 1 and toggle so that it loops. Get rid of the other controls. We don't want any delay on that. And the speed, we can leave it on 1. The speed for pistons is set from 1 to 100. Uh, 100 is super fast. It'll just flip you right over. Always start with a slow speed, and you can slowly increase the speed as you go. Start position, we want it to be fully extended. So now that we've set that, let's build that in, even just with the one leg, and see how that walks. Now see, it's a little slow. It's pulling in, and it's not having enough time in that 0.6 seconds to actually extend itself again. So, we'll go back to these pistons. And we'll set the speed to, let's try three. Let's see, even three is a little bit slow. Let's try five. Hell, let's try ten. Bum, bum, bum. Cue the dramatic music. Okay, let's try ten. Here we go. That's definitely a little better. I wonder if we put a delay on them, if it'll work better. Push forward more. So 0 0.6 will be our delay again. 0 0.6. But a boom. Let's try that. Here we go. Ha! Ah. Now he's a gimp. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we don't want to have timing on that one. No delay. Undelay, no delay. And 10 seems to be pretty good. So let's set the same thing on the rest of our pistons. We can't actually select them all. Rotate that around, select that one, select that one. Let's set our timing to 0 0.6. Always good to be able to set numbers the same on all at the same time. Speed, we know it's going to be 10. 
start position is going to be out. We want them all to auto reset. We don't know which one we're going to have, so they're going to actually be retracting, so that's all going to be on the red arrow, polygon number one. Get rid of that control. So our right front had a delay, so that means these ones will have no delay. No, that had no delay, this will have a delay. 0 0.6 That will be on red Follow Control Alright Let's just look Ooh, really a nice bounce in the front legs there Alright, so we'll do the same thing with our rear pistons here Be bouncing, man. Yeah. Trucking. Yes, indeed. I'm trucking. So that is about as basic a quad walker as you can get. Now, from there, you can go all kind of variations. You can have pistons that extend out the front to give the front legs or the back legs more forward reach. At the same time, they have pistons connected to it coming down, so it moves out cyclically. Say that in tight shorts three times. So, uh, yeah basics of a quad walker right there hope that helps you uh, newbies out there anybody that doesn't uh, understand how to set the timing on servos or pistons they're all basically the same now as you can see if we go into build mode 100% bionic zero and zero cores zero thrusters zero engines and it walks so yeah hope that helps thanks for watching guys thanks for subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet hit that button down below hit the bell so you know the next time I put up some crazy stuff like this and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Ciao.